What's going on guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen and today Spider-Gwen just got her powers So we're gonna teach her how to do a backflip So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna practice jumping up What we're gonna do is we're just gonna swing your arms back and bend your knees to wind up for the jump And then you're gonna swing your arms up and straighten out your legs as fast as you can so you can jump as high as you can So we're gonna practice it a few times and it's gonna look like this Yeah, get your arms a little bit further. Yeah. So now we're gonna try and do that and go a little higher. Woo! Perfect, that looks awesome. Let's move on to the next step. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna practice the tuck. For this one, we're gonna practice it on the ground. So you're gonna do it like me. We're gonna practice the jump like we did earlier on the ground, but then we're gonna bring our knees to our chest after. So it's gonna look like this. Jump and then tuck. So it's gonna look like this for the back foot. So we're just gonna practice that on the ground so you build up positive muscle memory for the back foot. So you wanna try that out? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's see. So swing your arms up and then bring your knees to your chest. Yes. Arms up, knees to the chest, hands to the knees. Perfect, okay. that was amazing. Oh, you're totally gonna get this. One more time, a little faster. That's perfect. Okay, you got this down, so let's move on to the next step. For the next step, we're gonna put one and two together. So we're gonna be jumping and then going into the tuck, but instead we're gonna be doing it onto higher ground. So if you guys have access to a mat, make sure you use that. But if you don't, then you can just use a soft block to just jump onto. So you jump up and then tuck onto the mat. So you can already see that my momentum is trying to bring me into a backflip, but the higher block is stopping me from doing that. Okay, now let's see you try it a few times. Okay. So same thing as earlier, you're gonna jump up and then tuck with your back onto the mat. Yes, yes. Okay, so that was super good. So on this attempt, we're gonna try and be higher up on the back. Okay. So you land it on the lower end of your back here. We're gonna try and land on the higher end of your back. Yeah. That was pretty good. All right, let's just do a few more, guys. Repetition is key for this. You want to be as comfortable as you can be before you try the actual backflip. Good, good. Yes. All right, so that looks really good. Now we can move on to the next step again. So guys, for the next step, if you can find a spotter, then that would be super useful. So basically, I'm gonna spot Gwen into a backflip by helping her into it. So basically, what I'm gonna do Come here. I'm gonna put one hand on her back to push her up to help her height. And then I'm gonna put one hand behind the knees to help her flip. So those are the two main keys for the backflip, getting height and then fast flip. So I'm gonna be spotting her on the trampoline into the backflip. So if you're still scared to backflip, you can actually get your spotter to grab you and flip you instead to get some courage. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, that felt pretty good, right? Yeah. Two, one. <laughs> nice. That felt awesome. All right. Now we can move on to the actual thing. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Woo! Okay. You okay? Faster, but it was good. Three, Three two, one. Woo! That was good. That was good. Yeah. yeah you still hit feet first. That's a good <laughs> sign. Three, two, two one. Woo! Oh, that was yes! <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. That was Spider Gwen's first backflip, guys. So, really good progression. That's another way of spotting. What your spotter does is grab you with one arm like this, and then other arm helps to flip. So it helps to have an experienced spotter, so you guys can check out local parkour classes or gymnastics classes. If you're ever in Ottawa, we offer some at Loss of Motion. So basically the most important part to focus on after the backflip is to spot the ground. So you wanna know where you are in the flip so you have a controlled landing. So about three quarter way in the flip, you'll be able to see the ground and you can get ready, open up from your tuck to land. So this is what it should look like on the trampoline. So after you've landed the backflip on the trampoline, a really good place to try it is a tumble track. So if you guys have one, it's basically like a trampoline, but a lot stiffer, so it makes the backflip harder. 
So you're gonna wanna try it on that. So after you've done all the progressions, you've landed on the trampoline and other places, the last step is to land it on the floor. So you wanna be really careful with this one because you get no extra help. So you wanna make sure you do all the progressions so that you're safe and you don't get hurt. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys learned to do a backflip with it. If you wanna see my latest video, click here. If you wanna see another cool video, make sure you click here. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see other cool stuff. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. That's good. Skadoosh.